Again, we're going to talk about the 110 block. Um, this project, we're going to be doing six Cat 5 cables on the 110 block. Um, we're also, again, going to use the 110 punch down tool, 110 bit for the tool. Again, the cutting edge and the non cutting edge. Um, this one's a little bit different than we did with the 25 pair. Um, on the cables, there will be three cables that will come in on the 110 block on one side. They'll be passed in on one side and laid down. And then the other three will come in the other side. So um, we'll get started with the, with the first three. I'll actually put them in on the side where we normally would start left to right. Okay. Okay, the difference here also from the 110 or from the 25 pair to the to the data cabling on the Cat 5 cable is we want to keep our twist rates. <clears throat> so we have to have less than a half inch untwisted, and we also want to keep the integrity of the cable. So what we're going to do is keep the jacket is allowed to come up into the um, place where we're going to punch down onto the grid. So again, we're going to start with our blue-white. And again, we'll want to keep um, no kinks, no knuckles. And again, we have, so the best way to do this is to just twist back a little bit. And again, use that, that knob or that tab that's on the, on the 110 block to help us separate the cables in the proper spot. Again, blue-white, orange-white. Green, white, always again with our white starting our pair, and again watching for half inch twist or untwist of the cable. Okay, once we have a cable down, again you'll find your own method. You can either punch those down or move on to the second cable and do them, punch them all at once. This is a ringing tool for the Cat5 cable. As you can see, you just put it on, make a re uh, rotation and slide off the jacket. Okay, again, I'm gonna keep the jacket as close as possible so we keep the integrity of the cable and again, going to start with the blue-white on our second cable. Lay it down. The orange-white. Lay it down. white and brown white brown notice again we're going to keep a sweep rate here we have to be careful not to kink or you put knuckles in and if you're not familiar with the knuckle I'll show you show you what I mean on this so some of the things we're looking for that we don't want to do with the data cable is leave the jacket too long and bring the pair back against the jacket. This is, this is basically a kink right here which will slow our data down. So we want to make sure that we do not have, have kinks. So we want a nice sweep coming out of the jacket. Another thing we want to be careful of is when we're trying to lay this down, if the color doesn't come the way we want it to, to actually take and, yeah, let's see if this one here isn't, yeah, 
we'd end up trying to force this one back over and we create a actual knuckle, which a knuckle would be just like this, a, a hard kink in one of the one of the pairs as it turn as it comes in lays down. So we want to watch for that as well. See if I can get one of those to happen. Actually this one's supposed to be here. If you could see that, this would start to be or what it would look like a knuckle. See how it comes over and around and lays down. We want to be careful of those that will also cause our speed of our data to also slow down. So those are one of, one of the things that we want to avoid when we're laying down the cables. Now when you come in with your cables from the other side, you're going to end up with three cables on one side and three on the other. Bring the three cables in. And we'll take the ringing tool, take the jacket back, don't strip off with the ringing tool. Um, it will come apart. So we only use it as a ringing tool, not as a stripping tool. Now the thing that I wanted to show you on the second set of, of cables coming in is we do not change the order of the, of the colors. Our blue-white will also start our first one on our pairs. So we'll still continue with our blue, white, orange, white. We do not reverse it because the cables are coming in from the other side. Once you have these laid in, again, it's just a matter of using the punch down tool. You may find that when you use the tool to help with the cutting process, you may want to lean it just out just a little bit toward the outside as you punch down. That will allow it to cut off the, the wire. Okay, so as you go through that process, again, when we have it all finished, should look like this. Again, notice the jackets come in as far as we possibly can to keep the integrity of the cable. If you also look, the last pair, because we're using four colored pair and six cables, it only uses 24 of the slots. So the last slot is open.